What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to do some more cyber news and I saw this interesting article about a fileless Linux crypto miner that's been found in over 100 packages. Let's check it out. All right, cool. So this article was released on August 12, 2022. Uh, and as you can see, it says this week in malware, uh, fileless uh, Linux crypto miner uh, found in 100 packages. Uh, now, this is on Security Boulevard. This is one of the websites I, I follow to keep up with cyber news and especially dealing with Linux. But it was released on August 12, uh, 2022 which was a couple days ago, but it says this week in malware, we discovered and analyzed nearly a hundred packages flagged as malicious, suspicious, or dependency confusion attacks. Uh, notably, we uncovered the PyPy uh, package that drops fileless Linux malware directly into memory. And that's, that's the crazy part about it. It doesn't even write it to the, to the disk. Uh, it just puts it right in memory and covertly run a crypto miner. So that's crazy. Uh, and this reminds me of something I remember seeing a while back uh, that crypto miners were being uh, put into browsers and running on the actual browser, uh, I think via add on or something to that effect. Um, well, this kind of reminds me of that. This is dropping it right into memory and running on the system. But it says, furthermore, our investigation revealed the threat actors published this malicious package under the stolen identity of a software engineer from a United States national laboratory. And it says, uh, secret libs, uh, PyPy uh, package identified as fileless Linux malware. Uh, it says, in this rundown of malware, Sonatype's uh, automated detection system identified PyPy uh, package secrets lives as potential malicious and so this is it right here this is the package name uh, but it says as it released the package contained the description secret matching and verification made easy upon investigation the package connected a different kind of secret it runs a crypto miner on your Linux machine in memory directly from RAM so that's random access memory and so it says, we see uh, this technique to a great extent with fileless malware and cryptors. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. Now it says, additionally, the threat actors who published the malicious package uh, impersonated a real software engineer. And that's that's the crazy part about it. They impersonated someone that, that actually creates software, has accounts and has a reputation uh, to put it out there as a legit application um, or a legit uh, Python package. Now, it says uh, who works for he he actually works for a science and engineering research laboratory funded by the U u.s department of energy so the doe uh for a deep dive on how secret lib uses a quasi clean stripped efl binary to drop a linux crypto miner in memory read x sharma dedicated blog posts and you can check that out at your leisure i have a link to this article down in the description of the video but just to show you guys more packages, malicious, suspicious, and dependency confusion. Uh, we caught this week via Sonatype automatic malware detection system offered as part of Nexus Firewall. So this is pretty much all of packages. Um, and that's based on what I'm what I'm reading or based on what I understand with this. Uh, this is what um, what they actually found uh, as far as packages, I'm assuming. Uh, but let me click on it and just make sure uh, hundreds of packages and yeah read more so let's scroll down it's just it's just a whole bunch of packages it says these discoveries follow our uh, report last week of typo squats and ransomware scripts uh, in Popeye 
and so that's the full list right there and that'll go through a little bit more information it's i mean it just kind of covers it this is the original location where they got this information from uh so just so you guys know that's where you can get it from but i'll drop both of these links so you guys can see but one one of, one of them that stood out to me uh when i was looking through this list was the octo one uh now where is it i didn't lost it but that's authentication <laughs> it's an authentication package uh so that that really threw me for a loop and hold on let me try to find it i don't see it right now yeah octa authentication express there we go so express octa o authentication so that stuck out to me but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said this is just um one to read you guys an article or make you guys aware of what was going on in the linux world especially with these this fileless crypto miner that's being installed on people's systems but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie